everyone, it's Kelly and welcome back to another episode of Dying the Dead. So this is the next step in the diaphanization process. If you guys remember that bird I skinned and kind of dissected live on Periscope a few weeks, a few months back, I will link it down below if you guys would like to check it out. It is bad quality. I am out of frame a lot of the time, so I... It was my first time using a live periscope like that for a type of dissection, so if I do anything like this next time, I will make sure I am in frame and that you guys can see the entire dissection. But that bird from that live periscope is what I'm going to be taking through the diaphanization process. And this video is where I'm going to be going through the cartilage stain, or the alcyon blue stain, to stain all the cute little cartilage parts in this bird. So I am going to have to make a new cartilage stain because the bird is a little bit bigger than some mice, so I will need a little bit more than 100 milliliters. If you would like to know how to prepare the cartilage stain for 100 milliliters, please check this video out right here as it will show you everything that I'm doing already. Here are some of the things that you're going to be needing. Your 95% ethanol, your 99% glacial acetic acid, your alcine blue powder, nitrile lab gloves, your goggles, a scale to measure out your powder, your lab dissection kit, a stir stick or something that you can scoop out your powder and mix your solution with, weighing papers or weighing boats to measure out your powder, your 100 milliliter graduated cylinder, a jar container with a plastic lid as we are messing with glacial acetic acid and it's very corrosive so metal will corrode so that is why you need plastic, and last but not least the prepared bird with no head. Just to let everybody know, after the live periscope dissection, I placed the bird straight into formalin for a few days, and then I went through the two water baths that it needed. So we are now on the alcyon blue cartilage stain step. Since this bird is bigger than a regular feeder mouse size, I am going to have to prepare more of the alcyon blue solution. So instead of 100 milliliters, I am going to be preparing 200 milliliters. It's still going to be a 3 to 2 ratio, 3 parts ethanol, 2 parts glacial acetic acid. All that's going to change is the amount of each that's needed. So what I'm going to be doing, since I'm going to be preparing 200 milliliters, I'm going to be using 120 milliliters of the ethanol, and then 80 milliliters of the glacial acetic acid. And since we are increasing our solution, we are going to have to also increase the amount of powder that we use. So instead of 10 milligrams of alcyon blue powder, I'm going to be using 20 milligrams. And I want to stress that since these chemicals are very hazardous and very corrosive, you want to work in a well-ventilated area, and you also want to make sure you have your goggles on and your gloves and any type of old clothes or things that you don't care about getting messy because these are very, very dangerous chemicals. Alright, so now that we have all of our materials, let's get started. with the three parts ethanol and two parts glacial acetic acid, we're going to be measuring out 20 milligrams of the alcyon blue powder and we're going to just be adding it in here and then mixing. So what I was just doing was I was adjusting this little bubble right here. So there's a hole and then there's a little circle with a bubble in it. And you want to get the bubble in the center so you know that your scale is on a flat balanced surface. And since this scale is in grams, I'm going to be measuring out 0.02 grams of alcyon blue. So this is slightly over 20 milligrams, but it's okay. It's only at 24. That's, a go that's good. So I'm just going to be using this, and we're now going to place it into our solution. It's a 
very good blue color. It looks beautiful. And now we're, we're just going to be transferring the headless bird into the Alcyon blue. Since this bird is notably larger than a regular feeder mouse, it will have to be left in the Alcyon blue for about two days to really penetrate into all those tissues and really get down to the cartilage. So the bird is just going to be sitting in the Alcyon Blue for about two days and then we're going to be moving on to the next step. So you want to remember that when you put your specimens into the Alcyon Blue solution, you want to have them fully submerged as you want to get every piece of cartilage stained. So just make sure to push them down in there or you may need to make some more solution if it's not enough. Also, this Alcyon Blue solution can be reused until you start to see little particles fall out into it. Alright, so thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to thumb up and subscribe if you like what you're seeing and you want to see more videos. If you guys have any questions, comment down below and don't forget to read the description. There's a lot of things in there that I wasn't able to put into the video and kind of things that I may have ran into or just my own experiences that I didn't really talk about here today. So yeah, be sure to read that and if you guys have any questions, please ask. I love answering questions and talking to all of you guys. It's super fun. And so yeah, I will see you guys next time for the next video, which is the rehydration steps. All right, bye.